Hello, it is I, IR Smart, and welcome back to the best cooking show ever, Cooking with IR Smart. Now, this show is amazing, as I'm sure you already know. So today, we are going to be cooking the blue noodles from Andor. They are called uh, Gour Gourmandas Glow Blue Noodles, okay? So you may remember in the Andor premiere, there was a guy eating blue noodles out of a takeout bin. So I found in this, uh, I think I've showed this before, I have my Galaxy's Edge cookbook. I haven't been to Galaxy's Edge but I have their cookbook, so that's good enough for me, I think. Anyway, I noticed that it, this book came out years ago, but when I saw it in the Andor show, I was like, wait, this, this is in the book I have. Blue noodles, let me show you these. I don't know if you can see them, but look at that. Blue noodles, it's crazy. So, you might be asking, I are smart, how the heck do you make noodles blue? Well, I had to get these. Butterfly, what, butterfly pea flower tea. It makes the water blue, which then in turn makes the noodles blue, so that's pretty cool. This cost me like $13. I had to get it on. I could not find it anywhere. I had to order it online. Ridiculous. So anyway, I have these now. I have the water boiling already, but then we're going to add, you know, the, 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 the things and the things. Uh, also, the recipe has uh, some sauce we're going to make along with it, because, you know, just the noodles by themselves wouldn't be that great. So it comes with a cheese sauce, and I love cheese. Oh, let me tell you about this cheese. Okay, so this is, uh, these are some uh, mozzarella pearls. Uh, the thing with mozzarella is it comes in a liquid, which is kind of annoying. It comes in like a, it's a really soft cheese, and you have to store it in the liquid to keep it fresh. I don't know why it's picky. Other cheeses are fine. You can just store them in packages. I don't know why mozzarella is the way it is. But the thing about this mozzarella is, right, it's not made from cows, okay? I'm going to give you a minute to try and guess. You know, might be thinking like, oh, well, maybe it's like goat cheese or something else. No, no, no. Look at this. This is the only mozzarella I could find in the store. Can you read that? It's made from water buffaloes. I kid you not. How, how? I didn't even know water buffaloes made milk. You can make mozzarella cheese from water buffaloes? What? Who would have ever thought of that? It, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have all the ingredients I need. So first off, I need the water, which I got going. Got the butterfly packets. Got salt. That's over here. Uh, rice noodles. Uh, I don't have rice noodles, but I have noodles. They're in this container here. It's eight ounces of noodles. Should be good. They, they look pretty much like the ones in the picture, should be good enough. We need a, a whole stick of butter, which I think is a bit ridiculous, but I mean, we're making a sauce, so uh, I suppose. And then clove of garlic, minced. I already minced the garlic clove over here, as you can see. Heavy cream, you see, heavy cream is like super hard to find. Easy substitute, IR Smart cooking tip. If you ever need heavy cream in a recipe, just get milk and then add a little bit of butter, melted. It's perfect substitute for heavy cream. Works every time, well, almost every time but easy substitute. Uh, we got the mozzarella. Oh, the recipe calls for cherry tomatoes. I absolutely despise cherry tomatoes, all right? I know they look nice on the picture, but I cannot stand them. I'm not going to eat them, and I'm making this recipe, okay? I'm altering the recipe. Pray I don't alter it any further. And then we need a Parmesan crisp for gar garnishing. I don't think we need that, but I did miss that we need one and a half cups of grated Parmesan cheese. Now, the thing is, I have, well, let me show you. So I have, you know, just, you know, craft grated Parmesan cheese. I could easily just, you know, do it the easy way, or I could do it the hard way. I see, I have one of these things, you know, like at the restaurants where the waiter's like, oh, you want some Parmesan cheese? And they're like, okay, tell me when to stop. And I just stare at them blankly, because I want tons of cheese on my pasta. So I just let them go, and they're like, do you want me to stop? I'm like, no, keep going. More, more, more. So anyway, yeah, I have one of these things, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I got my Parmesan cheese. I do recognize that this is a liquid measuring cup, but I don't have any uh, dry measuring cups that are 1.5 cups. So th this is fine, okay? Anyway, the water is now boiling. So that means I can add, uh, I think it says two, two tea bags. Now I've never actually made tea before. Um, I don't like tea, I'm gonna be honest. Sorry British people, but it tastes funny. Um, I feel like I should take this tag off. Because I feel like that would kind of... I don't need like little bits of cardboard in my tea. Uh, there. So take that off and we're just going to... We're just going to drop them in there. You know, see what happens. Oh! Hold on, my microphone cord. Alright, we're just going to drop those in there. I think that's how you do it, right? You just put those in there. Um, oh, a generous pinch of salt, it says. So when it says pinch of salt, that basically just means do whatever you want. So we're just going to go like... There we go. Okay, salt. So we got that in there. Now, oh my gosh, it's already turning it blue. That's so cool. Okay, 
So I got that going. I think I can just add the noodles now. So we're gonna take this off. It has like a cap on it. Uh, here we go. So we're just gonna... There we go. Okay. So I already measured out how many noodles I need. That's already eight ounces, which is what the recipe says to use. So that's nice and easy. Okay, so uh, we can let that go. Oh my gosh, it's already turning blue. That's so cool. Okay, so anyway. Uh, while the noodles are cooking, warm the cream, butter, and garlic in a second medium saucepan over medium heat until steaming. Okay. So here's our other medium saucepan. I'm gonna add some stuff to it. So we got this now, and now we can get this over medium heat. That's gonna be the start of our cream. So we got that. Man, that's right, gas stoves are so nice. We used to have an electric stove, absolute pain to work with. So gas stoves, very nice. Definitely worth the investment if you're gonna be cooking. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning up here a sec. Okay, so I got a bit of time now while, while everything's getting ready. I can tell you about this character named uh, Gor Gormanda. So the book says that this is Gormanda's recipe. You may be asking who the heck is this character? <laughs> this is probably one of the most obscure references ever. So basically we start with, you know, the Andor. We see that there's blue noodles. It goes deeper, okay. We have to go back to the Star Wars holiday special, guys. You know, the, the holiday special? So anyway, basically in this holiday special, uh, Chewbacca's wife is trying to like make a recipe for Christmas dinner or life day dinner, I guess it would be. Anyway, she's watching a cooking tutorial as like, you know, like a cooking show, like the one I'm doing. And there's this character called uh, G Gormanda, who, who apparently is a female, but it, it, it's basically just a cross-dressing guy. And uh, so he, he, I mean, she is doing like a cooking show and she is apparently like a, a, a galaxy famous chef. And the funny, I guess the joke is that, you know, she's going like, whisk, whisk, stir, whip, whip, stir, or whatever. And then, then this brings out like two extra arms. And then the joke is that like, oh, you know, Chewbacca's wife can't keep up because she only has two arms and the chef has four arms. It's, it's just really not funny, <laughs> but it's just such an obscure reference. I can't believe they actually went with that. Like what a reference to make. So this recipe we're making is a reference to the Star Wars Holiday Special. H how about that, guys? That's crazy. So these noodles aren't very blue yet. The water's very blue, but the noodles themselves aren't turning blue. So we got this going. Okay, this is now steaming, and that's what it said we wanted. So the, 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 cream, the cream mixture is now steaming. So it says, uh, what does it say? Okay, so we need to add salt and pepper to taste, and then we need to not do that. We need to uh, whisk, 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 stir in the Parmesan cheese along with it. So, we're gonna start with the salt. You know, just, you know, to taste. I think that is gonna taste okay. And then some pepper, you know, put that in there too. There we go, that just adds some nice, you know, color, pretty much, and also some taste. Pepper is, it's not bad, it's, it's good. Okay, do we not have to whisk this in? Yeah. Mike, are you sure it needs that much cheese? That seems kind of ridiculous to me, okay? All right, so we're gonna whisk that in. Ooh, ooh, that is gonna make that really creamy. Ooh, that looks good. Like, you guys can't see it, because I don't have an overhead camera here, but it looks really good. It's gonna be really creamy and delicious. Yeah, I love Parmesan cheese and just cheese in general. It's such a good food, honestly. All right, so whip, whip, stir, whip, whip, stir. Okay, noodles are starting to turn blue. They're not very, they're not blue enough yet. So we gotta wait on that. I gotta say, cooking is just so nice, you know. It, it could, it's like it can be kind of stressful when you got a lot of stuff going on, but it's just so nice. And can we just, you know, it's nice to make something for yourself, all right? That's my other start, smart tip from the day. Just try cooking, okay? It's not nearly as hard as your brain tries to make you think it is. You might think like, oh, that's gonna take so much time to set up and do all this stuff, but like, a home-cooked meal is amazing, guys. Like really, you should cook for yourself, okay? So I'm trying to inspire you guys to like, you know, a lot of people in my generation especially, just like, they're like, oh, cooking? Pff, I don't need to care about cooking. I can just order food or like, you know, get it delivered or whatever. Come on, make yourself food. It's really good for you. So I really encourage you guys to make yourself food. All right, so I'm thinking I probably should have started the noodles sooner um, since they're not done yet, but the, the sauce is done yet, but I'm sure that's fine, all right? You know, I, I've never made this recipe before, kind of just winging it here. But you know, that's part of the fun of cooking, guys. You sometimes just have to wing it. I really should have put the camera higher. I have to like keep bending down, whatever. 
All right, guys, so I don't know what happened. I followed the directions perfectly, but the noodles are not turning blue. Like, they're supposed to be that color of blue, and they're not anywhere near that color of blue. It's like kind of a yellowish, greenish, murky color, and it's disgusting. I'm so disappointed. It said that these things would work. I literally bought, literally paid like $13. You made it, it's $13 for this. Why? It, this little thing of tea bags that I'm never gonna use, I literally bought them just for this video, and they're not making it turn blue. I'm so upset right now. This is... I little I'm, I've been scammed, alright? It's, it's, it's no short to say I've been scammed. It's not turning blue. It should be blue. The whole point of this video was to make blue noodles, and they're not blue. Do you have any idea how upset I am? This is so flippin' annoying. You know what? Whatever. Like, I don't even care, okay? Like, like, whatever. I'll just have regular noodles. Literally, almost all the water is boiled away. <sighs> whatever, whatever. I'll just prepare the plate, and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so, uh, that, that's, that's kind of blue. It's not the color of blue I was hoping for, but whatever, I guess. That's fine. So what do we have to do next? Okay, so we got the cheese sauce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour, or just, you know, Get some on here. This actually looks good. This might not taste that bad. I mean, it's just it's just a basic, you know, like Alfredo kind of cheese sauce. So I think that'll make it, you know, a little bit better at least. You know, there there is some redeeming qualities to this this absolute uh, failure that was me trying to make blue noodles. Okay, and then we'll just take some of the mozzarella and just you know place it around there, I guess. And uh, okay, so um, here it is. Here's the final product that um, doesn't look good. I'm gonna be honest. It uh, it doesn't look blue. I was hoping it to be blue. This isn't even anywhere close to the color of blue. That's right. I don't know. Maybe I could try this again. I think I didn't have to add enough water. I think that was the problem. It said add four cups of water, which I was like, that seems really low. Normally, when I you know make noodles, I put it like the water up to like the top because it's gonna boil away. It boiled almost all of it away. So. I blame the recipe, uh, not me, because my I'm obviously perfect. I would never make a mistake, so I blame the cookbook. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna try this now. So we're gonna get a little, uh, little piece of mozzarella there. Gotta break, break that off. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, bon appetit. I mean, it just, it just tastes like regular noodles. It doesn't taste blue. I mean, I don't know what blue tastes like, but I mean, it also doesn't look very blue. I, I guess I was kind of expecting it to taste like the tea, but I don't know what the tea tastes like. But the cheese sauce is really good, I gotta say. This is a good cheese sauce. I mean, it's a pretty simple recipe for cheese sauce. Uh, let me try some of this um, mozzarella. Okay, the mozzarella tastes a bit weird, but to be fair, it's from a water buffalo. I don't know what I was expecting. So, I think I'm just going to skip on that. But overall, this it's a good sauce. So, what did we learn today? Making blue noodles is extremely difficult, and you probably shouldn't try it at home. If, on, if you can, if you can do this recipe, and figure out how to actually make the blues noodles, uh, please send them to me. Like, go to, join my Discord and, like, send me a picture of them. I'm very curious to see if you guys can figure this out, because I could not figure it out. Maybe if you added, like, food coloring, maybe that would help out. But I tried it with a tea, and it did not work. So, oh, whatever. I hope you enjoyed, though. I always love making these cooking videos. So, um, and I, when I saw those noodles in Andor, I knew. I know I have to try making this recipe now. So, I didn't succeed, but I hope you enjoyed. So... I'm going to eat this now because I'm really hungry. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.